Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. This video is a real important one. If you're spending any money on paid ads at all, I'm gonna show you how to overcome all iOS 14 plus tracking issues on Shopify by using Triple Whale. And if you haven't heard of Triple Whale, you're gonna really enjoy this video. I'm gonna show you how to stop running ads in the dark. The bottom line is if you wanna succeed with e-commerce, with paid ads, and this kind of sounds like an obvious thing, you need to know your numbers. But with iOS 14, right, that recent iPhone and iOS update, and all the real privacy regulations that are kind of coming out across all different browsers and countries, they've hurt e-commerce, they've hurt entrepreneurs like you and I because we have less information available to us on our ad tracking, on our ad reporting, on the different audiences that we can use and leverage. And if you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business, period. And our ad performance, your ad performance, my ad performance, we've all been affected by it. The ad performance is being negatively affected in the e-commerce space because of this lack of accurate reporting and this lack of data coming in. We're literally running ads in the dark and Facebook ads, Instagram ads, they're already challenging enough. We absolutely 1000% need to see the data and it needs to be accurate. And this doesn't matter whether you're in the beginning stages of your business, let's say you're doing ad testing, inaccurate numbers are gonna lead you down the wrong direction. You're gonna say, okay, well, this product looks good or maybe it doesn't. Or maybe you're missing out on a product that you should be scaling. And then when you get to the scaling phase, inaccurate numbers, inaccurate reporting, literally gonna result in you losing tons and tons of advertising dollars, huge percentages of your advertising budget literally thrown out the window, just that money burnt because you have zero idea of what's going on. You're not getting accurate reporting. You don't know the number of clicks, the conversion, the CPM, how many sales have been attributed to what ad, all of that is in the dark. And that's why I use Triple Whale. That's why I recommend it to so many of my students. That's why you've probably heard of Triple Whale already because this is a big problem in the industry. Triple Whale does a great job of solving exactly what I was talking about, giving you that full transparency into the numbers, the attribution, what ads are working, what products are being sold, how many clicks, what's the conversion rate, the real numbers and stats that allow you to make database decisions that are gonna help your business grow. You're looking at Triple Whale. This is trytriplewhale.com. You see the link directly below this video. And I'm gonna show you over the shoulder just how powerful this is. But this is really all about Ecom OS. And you're gonna have really all of your metrics in one spot, Shopify, Facebook, Pinterest, all of the stats that are most important to you, Google ads, gonna show you your net profit, Klaviyo revenue, TikTok ads, everything in one, showing you your blended ROAS return on ad spend. This isn't just about getting your numbers back. This is having full access to the entire picture of your store in real time, anywhere, at literally 24 seven, knowing that you have 100% full confidence that these numbers are accurate and we're getting that real good attribution the one that we need, right? Being able to spend confidently saying, okay, we're going to know that, okay, this ad is giving us an ROI and we trust that it's positive. Let's go ahead and spend more. Let's go ahead and scale it. And it's really all about kind of reclaiming the confidence, reclaiming the time. And I'll show you this as we go over the shoulder, but it's just so much data, huge brands using this. Why? Because they have to. They need to have that level of confidence and that data stream that is accurate when it comes to the ads, the ROI, and all of that great stuff. I'm gonna show you exactly what you're looking at right here in terms of just some uh, screenshots here, but customer journeys, reporting, lifetime values, understanding the entire picture of your store, and not just unlocking the data that we used to have in terms of the attribution, but taking it to the next level, showcasing it, in a way that's gonna allow us to kind of transform this data into more sales, more growth, more scaling, and that's why I use Triple Whale. So let's go over the shoulder and see more. You're looking at the Triple Whale dashboard, and you're gonna be spending most of your time over here in the summary section. I'm gonna show you how to customize this little section over here. You'll probably also spend a lot of time inside of the pixel setting, especially under attribution, and also the activity feed, the creative dashboard, the customer insights. I'm gonna show you all these during the uh, little demo that I do. But really the idea here is, again, understanding all of our numbers. And in the summary, we're gonna really be able to see every single piece of important information to us. And we can come up over here into settings and we can come over to actually customize these sections here. They're gonna create these little tiles on every single area of our business. And there are some that are pinned, stats, store metrics, LTV, literally everything that you could ever imagine and more for your business. You'll literally be able to customize 
the panels here so you could see the information that you want, right? The information that is most relevant to you and your business. Triple Whale is going to be able to track everything. So I'm going to show you what I have over here in my dashboard. So the three row S2 rule them all. These are going to be the three kind of metrics that you're going to be really paying most attention to on an overall basis. And we're talking about over here the effectiveness of your ads, your overall ROAS return on ad spend, right? This is a metric that every single one of you need to be keeping track of. This is going to really dictate exactly how your paid ads are working. Are they effective? Are you making money? What is the return on these ads? And this is a number that you know that you cannot trust right now from Facebook. We need to have that full attribution through Triple Whale's Pixel. So we have that as number one. Next over here, this is new customer return on ad spend. So the other one, return on ad spend, just overall, here is new customer return on ad spend. Why is this so important? Well, this is going to really tell you, am I generating new customers? Am I generating the right type of clicks and buyers from my paid ads? Of course, we're going to have repeat customers, our VIP customers. They're going to contribute to our overall revenue, our overall ROAS. But new customer ROAS, new customer return on ad spend, incredibly important. That's the difference between these first two metrics. And the third one over here, this is your profitability. Right, so we have effectiveness, efficiency, profitability on the third one, POAS, profit on ad spend. And these are our, you know, our bottom line numbers, the numbers we're gonna to report to, the numbers we're gonna get excited about every day. Next, I wanna show you the creative dashboard. This is all about making it super easy to understand what is and what is not working. Incredibly powerful over here. And we could order this by spend. This is a really good metric to show us, you know, if we spend a lot of money on it, obviously it's going to be profitable. We could sort this by any way. And we're literally going to see all of our different ad creatives. These are pulled in automatically from our ad platforms. You can even create smart segments so you could see exactly the type of category of creative that you want all right in front of you here in Triple Whale. Next up is the customer insights. I'm gonna show you AOV first. Three different types of AOV, average order value. You got your mean, median, and mode. What exactly do these mean? Well, the mean is gonna be your typical average order value, just the uh, formulaic numeric number there that you're gonna get your average from the uh, total sales and total number of customers. When we have a little bit deeper insight though into the median and the mode, the median, you're going to see 50% of values will be higher, 50% will be lower, but the mode is probably the most important one here. This is kind of the idea that, let's say you have 100 orders, what is the most common order amount? This can kind of really represent what you can expect from a prospect. If you can get a prospect turning them into a sale, what is the most common sale amount? Well, in this case, $117.90. You could even zoom in, you could see a little bit more detail, and you could see the range of AOVs, so we're going to know exactly what we can expect with our customers. Product journeys, also a really powerful part of the reporting over here. Gonna show us what people are purchasing the first time, second time, third time. Gonna give us really good insight into what products convert, which products are most popular, and which products we wanna focus on. So that was Triple Whale. Again, I highly recommend it. Make sure you use code JUSTIN15. You're gonna save 15% off. And all you need to do, come up over here, just click the Get Started button. You'll get your account all set up. You could even book a demo over here again. Use Justin15. You're going to get that 15% off discount. But I highly recommend a Triple Whale. You need this for your e-commerce business. You need to have access to all the numbers again. And Triple Whale is going to do that exactly. So you see the link below the video again. Justin15, that coupon code is going to save you 15%. And I hope this helps you make a lot of money. I'll talk to you real soon.